In today's video, you are going to learn how to create this cool 3D hover effect in Framer. Mostly it's going to be no code, but we're going to need to write a couple lines of code. But don't worry, I'm going to provide you all the code that you need. So you can just copy and paste them to your project and you're good to go. So my name is Nandi, this is Framer University, and let's get started. So here we are in Framer and we can start off by pasting in this folder image. This can be any type of image, but I'm going to use a folder here. And then the next element that we're going to need is a text. So I'm going to just hit T on my keyboard and then click on the canvas. This is going to say tutorial or Framer tutorial folder. And then I'm going to make sure that it is white so we can actually see it and yeah it's going to be center sheet bold and 11 pixel size and then i'm going to select both of these and then i'm going to wrap them in a common frame by just pressing option sorry that was a little confetti there so option command and enter and this way they are going to be wrapped in a common frame as you can see which is a stack it is called columns i'm going to rename it to card so now we can set the direction of this stack to vertical. So now as you can see the folder and the text is right below each other, but we cannot fully see it because the size of this stack is not the right size that we need. So I'm going to resize it to 186 uh, for the width and for the height as well. So now we have this card, uh, we can add some fill color to it, which will be 2E, 2E, 2E. And then I'm going to set a bit of radius as well. And then a border color, which will be 5% white. And we're going to also add the realistic shadow, um, which is going to be a bit more transparency. And yeah, I think that looks really cool. Uh, then I'm going to make sure that this folder is set to absolute positioning so we can move it around freely. I'm going to make sure that it is centered for now. And then we cannot see the text now because it is in the center and behind the folder. So I'm going to set the card stack settings and set the distribute to end. So now as you can see the text is on the bottom of the stack. But I want to add some space below the text, so I'll just add some padding to the card stack. It's going to be a button padding, which is going to be 16 pixels. And then I'm going to make sure to move the folder a little bit to the top to make it a bit more centered. So I think this looks quite okay. And so now I think we have most of the elements. I think we're going to also need one more frame. So I'm going to just draw it here and then command and X and then command and V within the card. So I'm going to move it to the top. So it is behind everything and then set its positioning to absolute. So we can move it around freely. We can position it to the middle by pressing option H and option V and then set the width and the height to the same size that we have for the card. I'm going to rename it to light because this is going to be the light that is going to follow our cursor as we hover over this card. And then the fill color will be basically a radial gradient. The middle value will be 80, 80, 80. And then the outer value will be the same color, but we're going to use 0% transparency. Then we're going to also set a really, really big radius. So this whole light is fully rounded. And then I'm going to make sure that, that we remove the Z index. And then to make it a bit more smoother, we're going to apply a blur here, which is going to be 12 pixels. So now we have this nice light, but we're going to set the opacity to zero because by default, we're not going to be seeing this light. So now we have really everything that we need within this card. So we can turn it, this into a component. So I'm going to select this, hit Option, Command and K, and just hit Create. So now we have this component here. It has this primary variant, which is called Variant 1. 
I'm going to just call this default. And then what we can do here is we can add a hover state, which will be basically the state uh, when we hover it. So when our cursor goes over the card, it's going to go to the hover state. We can add it here. So just to show it again, click hover and then here is the hover state. So we can make some changes to the card here. We can change the color of the card to 45, 45, 45. So as you can see, if I hover this now, the background color is changed, but we're going to also show this light here. So now as you can see, the light is also showing, but it is not following our cursor here. So for this, we're going to need the code override. So I'm going to click light here on the primary variant. I'm going to go to code overwrites and then click new file. We're going to create a new override. We can call this light and then hit create. I'm going to just delete this uh, automatically generated code from here and then go to framer.university because it has this 3D hover override resource. And if you scroll down, you can find the code that we need for the cursor follow. So we can copy it from here, go back to our light override, paste the code in, then save the file. So now we can go ahead and select the light and apply the light override here. So now if we take a look at this, you can see that it should be following our cursor, what it isn't, because we forgot to do a really important step. And that's basically that we have to set this default primary variance tag to button, because that's the only way it's going to work. So now as you can see, the light is following our cursor. So yeah, it is looking really nice. But as you can see, if I hover over the text, is no longer following the cursor correctly and that's because we have to set the pointer events of this text to none so as you can see pointer events none and now even if we hover over the text the light is correctly following our cursor now we can go back to the home page and apply our last override which gonna be the 3d hover override we can apply this to the main card component so I'm going to go to the right panel, code overrides, new file, and then here 3D, create. I'm going to delete this default code here, and then again go to framer.university, and here we have the code override for the 3D hover. I'm going to copy it and go back here, paste it in, save the file, and then we can select it from this dropdown. And now basically this 3D hover uh, override is applied to this card component. So now if we take a look, it is having this nice 3D effect as we hover the card. And also the light is nicely following our cursor, which looks really epic. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, make sure to go to Framer.university because it has more free resources for Framer. So I guess that's a really great resource for you to learn Framer. Um, yeah, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more. And I'm going to see you in the next one.